All right, let's talk about movies real quick. Because I heard that John Wick 4 was going to get delayed and moved to 2023. This movie was supposed to come out the exact same day as The Matrix. Because everybody's like, oh, we get two movies with Keanu Reeves on the same day. It didn't happen. Not only did it not happen, it's got pushed for whatever reason to 2023. And I, the studio said something about it, didn't want to compete with all these blockbusters, quote unquote, coming out every month for 2023. So I got to thinking to myself, let me see what's coming out in 2023. So I'm going to go month by month with you here. And I'm going to talk about movies, one or two movies every month this year. And you tell me if you think it's going to be worth seeing or not. So we'll start off with January. On the 14th, Scream. Yeah. I don't know, because we've already had three Scream movies. Do we need to come we've back? Four. We've had four. Well, see, what, what does that tell you right there? I, I've had Scream overload. But the uh, thing is, scary movie genres is about as exciting as playing bingo with an old person. It's just... You notice if you've already seen the first four, the fifth one actually does look decent. You know how it's gonna go, you just don't know the end. And for me, I'm gonna see it with my oldest and, and the youngest. We're doing it for her birthday, she wants to go see it. So it's on kind of a different, it's like I'm introducing them to this whole platform of these movies. But it will be, it's worth seeing because the franchise is done good. Now, do they need one after this fifth one? Not so much. So, you know, only time will tell. I don't know. Um, now, two weeks after that, Morbius comes out. The first of many, I mean, many Marvel movies. What the hell is Morbius? Morbius is the living vampire. He's kind of like the Pass. evil version of Blade. Pass. I don't know. I want to see it because he's in the uh, same... Uh, same universe as Spider-Man. Really gonna pass then. I, I forgot about your version of Spider-Man. Okay. February, February 4th, Jackass Forever. To be honest, I forgot all about the other Jackass movies. I'll watch Boba Fett before I watch that. Here's one that you caught on and you told me about. I looked at the preview and it's a no for me. Uncharted. What was that again? That's the one with Mark Wahlberg and the dude that plays Spider-Man. I forgot what it was about. All I know is in that preview, I saw old ships in the air. Oh, that's like, right, that's right, that's right. Like Pirates of the Caribbean in the air. Yeah, I'll pass on that too. All right, here's where, if you would have asked me a year ago, it would have been a hard pass. But now my curiosity's up. The Batman on March 4th. If Christian Bell ain't playing Batman, I'm good. You know, I, I thought about that too, because Twilight Boy, as they call him. But every time they put out a preview, I'm like, damn, this movie looks like it's going to be pretty good. That's because you want it to be good. You're more of a DC than a Marvel guy. No. You want never. DC to have success. Never. I'm, I'm, I'm pro Marvel all the way. Mm -hmm. Sounds shaky. Anyway, let's move on to April. The 15th, Fantastic Beasts and the Secrets of Dumbledore. That's a pass for me. Yeah, I'm good on both of those. Well, no, that's one movie. That's what it's called. Oh, well, I'm good. Now, here's one that I never heard of until I saw the uh, trailer. April 27th, I mean 22nd, The Northman. Um, God, I forget the dude's name. Uh, I think it's Stellan Skarsgård. He played Tarzan in the last Tarzan movie. He's playing a Viking in this movie. Him and Nicole Kidman. And he's on a quest for revenge. Yeah. I ain't never seen 300. It's like another movie like 300. I'm going to pass on. <laughs> All right, then let's go to May. May 6th, another Marvel movie. Yeah, and yes, I am pro Marvel. Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Gotta watch it. Uh, I'll treat it like I did the first one. I'll catch it on Netflix. Or Disney Plus, whichever one. Oh, it'll be on Disney Plus then, yeah. Uh, May 27th has two movies coming out. 
for you and the kids, you can take them to the Bob's Burgers movie, or you can go see Top Gun Maverick. I'd rather play in traffic to see either one of those movies. Wow, that's pretty risky nowadays in traffic. Yeah, I think I'd go for that. If Top Gun 2 had come out 10 years ago, I'd probably be interested. How about we finally realize Top Gun wasn't that good of a movie? How about we just say that? <laughs> the Navy wouldn't agree with you on that because uh, recruitment almost tripled after that movie came out. White boys didn't know any better. June. I'd rather watch the Matrix movie than see that bullshit. Wow, okay. All right, so June uh, 10th, Jurassic World Domination. That I'm, uh, I'm a little intrigued by. Is Chris Pratt in that again? Yes, he is. As okay, a matter of I'm, fact, not only is he in it and Dallas Bryce Howard, Bryce Dallas Howard, excuse me, uh, they are bringing back the old cast too. Jeff Goldblum, uh, Sam Elliott. See, I know now I'm losing interest. Now I'm losing interest. <laughs> I ain't got anything else better to do than I'll go see these old motherfuckers try to be young again. It's Jeff Goldblum, bro. Yeah, ain't he on a, in a wheelchair or a walker or something? No, nah, he's not that well, How's he going to say with see? The retro shit is getting severely overplayed. Eh. You know, I'm, I'm intrigued by it still. Uh, now, one week later, Lightyear comes out. That for me is take it or leave it. It's basically Buzz Lightyear movie. That's where I saw Buzz getting a spinoff. Buzz's spinoff is 10 years too late. I would agree with that. Yeah. Now, I'm you good. Go to- unless my kids want to see that because they are Toy Story fans, I'm good on Buzz. Now, if you go to July, uh, Minions, The Rise of Gru. I'm I thinking that we're at the point where we got too many Minions movies and stuff like that. I, no, I got to see that. It, it, it hasn't disappointed. I'll see that. One week later on the 8th, another Marvel movie, Thor, Love and Thunder. I got to see that. I watched Ra- Ragnarok, so I'll probably invest in this one. And closing out July on the 29th, another DC movie, The Rock in Black Adam. I'm intrigued by that. I kind of want to see what Black Adam's going to be about. But I ain't seen no previews that really want to lock me into it. So I'm like a, a 55-50 on that one if I want to see it or not. 55-50. <laughs> good one yeah. we'll get to that later um august 26th samaritan it is a sylvester stallone movie that's all i know about it right now i don't feel like watching a movie with a translator so i'm gonna pass september 9th we're starting to get into the horror movies and this one is salem's lot why are we bringing back something old they are remaking salem's lot keep in mind they already yeah. remade it for a tv movie uh, it's a pass for me same here um, another Disney movie, Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. Had no idea that this was even on the radar. I'll wait. Shrek is pretty much dead in these streets, so I'm good. And September 30th, Mission Impossible 7. I'm about that. I'm about that. I've been watching Mission Impossible since the third or fourth one, and I've seen all of them been in been impressed and liked it so I, I have high expectations for this one yeah I've seen them all as well and they haven't let me down <clears throat> I am I am hoping that uh, that they drop the seven and give it a, a, a name like they have all the other Mission Impossible movies which we'll one was the one that Jeremy Renner was in he was in two of them he was in uh, First five one he and was in, which one was that five and six so, but he had more five, of a role than five. Five's the one where with um, Robin Thicke's ex-wife in it, right? Yes, yes. I think five's been the best one in the series. Really? Yes. I think five was good from start to finish. I still like, stand I, behind I two. Fans was three. Three was cool. Yeah, Four was good. good. Five was like the epitome. Six wasn't bad. Wouldn't have been mad if they didn't put it out. So seven's got to bring it back up. But I think five was the quintessential where if they'd have ended on that, I wouldn't have been mad. 
Well, I do need to let you know this. If they had stopped at five or six, I wouldn't have been mad with that series. I do need to let you know, though, that they are filming two of them back to back. So there will be an eighth one. That much we know. So seven better be good if they want to have hopes of making any money for eight. Now, if we jump to October, October 7th, I know Spider-Man is not your thing, but if you like the animated one, Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse, this is uh, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse Part 1, which means that they are going to do two of those. Somebody need to get a fly squatter and just black and crush him. Um, they need to stop <laughs> Spider-Man movies. And rounding out October on the 14th, again with these horror films, Halloween Ends. I guess that's the sequel to the one that they had this past October, Halloween. Was it called Halloween Begins or something? I don't know. That's I another see franchise that needs to stop. The life they trying to give to it ain't happening. All right. November 4th, another DC film, The Flash. I'm take it or leave it on that. Who's playing Flash? I don't even know who. The same guy that played him in Justice League. Okay. Now, I will say this. The original movie Batman is going to be in that. Michael Keaton. He's playing uh, Batman again. Like Magic Johnson, I'm quick to pass. <laughs> All right. November 11th. And his birthday, as a matter of fact. Another Marvel movie. Black Panther. Wakanda Forever. Uh, my blackness feels like I need to see it. But my common sense is like, fuck that movie. So I'm torn. I haven't had a bad um, Marvel movie yet, so I, I'm I, I'm going to go see it. I now, if your blackness if your blackness doesn't work for that, you can wait until November 28th, and you can see Creed three. Man, he go die in the rain. So I'm I'm just I'm over Creed. I understand it's Michael B. Jordan's time to be a director. But how many damn punches you gonna take? You gonna be punched drunk like Rocky? Stop it. Please stop after this third one. And getting back to Black Panther, if you replace Chadwell with someone else, that's gonna be tragic. Just well, kill the character off and start again. From what I understand, they have no plans to replace him. So I'm trying to figure out how you're gonna have a Black Panther movie with no Black Panther. Well, you know, Common Maguire's sister becomes Black Panther, but she right. done got her on set and everything. And I gotta give it to them. They're keeping everything at the tight wrap, so you really don't know. It, it is going to be interesting. I will say that. Um, now, if we go to December now to round out the movie list, there are two of them in December, and they're both on December 16th. Now, we cracked on Top Gun for being way too long to make a, a sequel. This is another sequel that took way too long to come out. Avatar 2. I never saw the first one because I didn't care, so definitely not going to see the second one. You didn't You didn't miss much. I'll just say that. Um, and the other movie is Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, so we're close now with the DC film. The first Aquaman was trash. The second one's going to be just that much more. So I'll go ahead and put that in the recycle bin. I I wasn't as down on Aquaman as as you are. It had some redeeming qualities. I mean, oh the hell it did! It was like watching Power Rangers on TV. How you go from a green screen to some bullshit ass co costumes and shit? Oh boy, Jason Momoa should be pissed about that. His career went back three steps. That movie was so damn trash. Nah, it wasn't that bad. I mean, Yes, it was. I lost time out of my life. I went and saw that during the holiday, too, because I paid a little extra for it, and I was extra disappointed. I fell asleep on it. It was so trash. Wow. That bad, huh? Yes. <laughs>